Hey guys, at, here at osmvdxreviews.com, we have for you today a way for you to revive your cell phone if you got it wet and you haven't attempted anything crazy yet. Most of us have been in that situation where we accidentally put our phones in our pockets after we went swimming and found out that our phones are completely soaked and now completely useless. We accidentally you know, put it into our washing machines or dropped it down the toilet or into the sink or something like that where it's gotten wet in a puddle of water. Um, we found out to our dismay that our, the, the indicator on the back of our phones and the batteries have turned red and to our horrors, most of us would probably uh, you know, discard our phones or you know, just try something crazy like turning it on immediately, which is a huge mistake because if your phone is still wet, turning it on will quickly short circuit the actual uh, motherboard and make the phone completely worthless and useless. Um, there are a few good ways to solve this situation. One of them is something you can buy that I have for for you guys here today to check out. And another situa another uh, method you can use is actually to get a pot of rice and then place your phone inside for around two to three days. And after all the moisture has been sucked out by the rice, which absorbs the moisture, uh, the phone will be dry and completely uh, usable again, or at least in most people's cases. And um, there's, there's other ways that you can use, um, for example, using... Um, a, a vacuum might work, uh, but one of the more uh, deceptive ways is actually using a blow dryer because that's really dangerous. If you try to dry the phone, you can actually overheat the motherboard and, and actually create more damage rather than actually extract the damage. But otherwise, this is one method that might work. It works most of the time, and if you've seen that you, your phone has gotten moisture in it and the indicators have turned red, it might save you from going out and getting another phone and spending another $200 on your gadget. Um, it's my, and this only costs around $5. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and again, for most people, it's gonna work. So uh, it's re this, this device right now I have here is also reusable. It's a great product to, to buy, so go check it out. We're going to unbox this for you and show you how to use it. So it's just a wet cell phone emergency kit. It dries your phone in around 48 hours. Um, it's easy to use. It's reusable. It works with this resealable back. Basically inside here we have a moisture absorbing cilia, which is this type. It's also the same thing you see in this uh, food preservation packets of those little you know, cilia packets that you see in a lot of foods that are supposed to be kept dry. It absorbs all the moisture from around it so that when you're placing it into a sealed bag, it should theoretically dry out everything and make the phone working once again, which would, you know, be very good. So how it works, again, it says it removes and traps moisture. This is a special cilia. It's non-toxic, which is um, not most cilia. This is also FDA approved, and the actual uh, capsule is BPA plastic free, it's good for the environment, and most importantly, this has a unique uh, solution in here, which means it turns from orange to green as it absorbs the moisture. And once I put the device in here, uh, in order to use it again, I basically, once it turns uh, you know, from orange to green, uh, I can turn it from green to orange again by, by microwaving the cilia so that, you know, it, the heat will remove all the moisture and I can use it again and again and again. Not that I would want to drop my phone in water again and again and again, but it's there as an emergency device, maybe for friends and family who've experienced a similar situation. So the first thing you need to do by using this phone is actually to remove the battery from the phone and remove all removable parts, including the SIM cards. And rem remember that everything needs to be removed and you need to wipe them all with a dry cloth first. And um, afterwards, Remove the green film from the sides of the dry top disc and place in the back provided. After 48 room, eight hours, remove phone and reinstall the battery. If phone has, still has moisture, put it in the back for an initial, additional 24 hours. And if the battery is difficult, it cannot be removed, place the um, entire device in the drying bag. When cilia crystals turn from orange to green, play casserole on a paper towel in the micro for 30 seconds um, in order to and again, use this again or heat for 45 minutes. And of course, don't eat this, and that's pretty much it. You can get this in a lot of different stores and locations. You can find it online on Amazon, on eBay. Um, again, the prices vary. There are some that are more expensive that contain more. There are some that's le le um, again less expensive. It's around $500, $5 as a standard. So let's take it out. Basically, there's this easy rip that allows you to rip the sides of this and open it up. And inside, you'll find the bag for, to, for you to seal your phone in, in addition to the cilia capsule, which is contained in this little box. And that's it. This bag is actually disposable. So, let's see. This is the bag itself, which actually folds up, and it's made out of this looks like a heat-retaining kind of 
construction. It's a very airtight um, little bag. It's made entirely out of this metallic plastic. And uh, basically, you open up the bag. It's a Ziploc design. It's a very tight Ziploc. And hopefully, it's going to open. There you go. For you to place in all the parts of the phone inside. Now the first step it did tell us to remove the green film from both sides of the dry top disc and place it in the bag provided um, or air tight container with a battery and a phone. So that's pretty much it. It just says if it's if it's dry, just pull off these two sides to activate it. There we go. There's another side over here. Like so. And yeah, just place the entire disc, I guess. You can see it's orange right now through the camera. Place the entire disc in here, which is dry, and uh, into the bag itself. And then secondly, place the phone into the bag as well. And afterwards, place the battery into the bag as well. And after that, place in the SIM card with the back cover if you have Lowe's. And after you have all those things in there, suck out as much air as you can by pressing down the edges of the bag and then sealing it once more using the Ziploc construction. And once all those things are done, the only thing you can do is basically wait, hope, and pray that the phone will come out successfully. It's not 100% guaranteed, and of course, if you're purchasing something like this, they can't guarantee your phone will work 100% of the time. But it should work, and it definitely is a great thing to try out before you go out and buy another phone in case you've dropped your phone in water. So, so hopefully this video has been help has been a help for you if you um, you know accidentally put your your phone in the pool or something like that recently and try this out before you try anything else and uh, have fun and go ahead and try it. Thanks for watching this video here at osmdtxreviews.com.